So I don't have things in order to build the solar panel system that I want right now. I'm, I'm working on like organizing the yard and making space for the batteries and stuff like that. So that might be a little further down the road. Because I want to actually get it to where I can start pulling a lot of power, even like light up the backyard and stuff with it. But I think it would be good to go ahead and go through and see how many batteries have survived. Hopefully all of them. Because I kind of didn't use them for a long time. I just left them on like a maintenance charge for over a year and a half. So let's check them out. This entire battery shed is... It has to go. It's garbage. It worked for, like, what? Oh, good. Oh, that's a big cricket. All this stuff's all rusted up. It's a good idea just to go ahead and remove all these cables. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Positive. Oh, that's not connected to everything. To anything, I mean. Let's see what the voltage of the solar panel is. Oh, 19 volts. That's not bad. So it seems like it should still be charging it. I'll finish this though. I just remember there's this battery that's been over here since like May or so. 12.24? That's not too bad. That's probably revivable. I think a lot of these should be fine with the, with the occasional bad one. 13.32, that's pretty good. 12.32, looks like that one got disconnected. 13.32, nice. That's one of the oldest ones I have. 12.15, eh, could be better. 13.24, that's pretty good. 12.62. 12.64, nice. I feel like I can use a lot of these. Actually, to be honest, I feel like I can use all of them. Some of the weaker ones, though, I might hook with a, a like a, a diode, bridging them to the better ones. That way, if those ones die, the better ones aren't killed. Guys, I am so over lead acid batteries, but because I have these, it's nice to use them. Man, I'm just so sick and tired of lead acid batteries. They're just I mean, maybe it's because I made too many videos about them. But they, they just, they suck compared to lithium ion, especially in this day and age where lithium ion cells are so easy to get and they're so cheap. I don't know why we still use lead acid batteries in cars. I mean, well, I, I do know why. Because antiquated rules and regulations, that's probably why. So I have two 100 watt panels, but I've only used one, so, whoa. The outline around the, okay. I guess I really have not moved that in a long time. But yeah, I have not used this one, as you can tell by the discoloration around the wood in the shed. This other one's a little bit dirty from this tree, and that's something I should keep in mind whenever I set up my system. So, it'd be nice to not have it where it gets dirty from things on top of it. And also, it's nice not to have, you know, trees blocking the sunlight, because trees are natural solar panels. So I have one dirty solar panel and one clean solar panel. I think I'm in a position to do a test between dirty and clean. Like how much power is is different. You know, like how much power is eaten up by all this shit on top of the solar panel. So I think tomorrow when the sun's out, I'll see about hooking these up. And I can try to use my MPPT controller to switch back and forth and see how much like a percentage that much dirt drops the power output. It'd be kind of cool. Pretty soon the shade will move off of those solar panels, so that'll be a good spot for them in a bit. Well, I got a new MPPT controller. Actually, my first MPPT controller, because before they were just PWM controllers I was using. It's this one. I assume it's MPPT. A lot of, a lot of listings have fake MPPT control controllers on them. So we have that. These are some battery terminals from my friend Morton Hjorth. He runs the channel My Playhouse. He's pretty cool. And this is just normal junk from my bedroom that kind of seeped in there. So, with this, I believe we should connect it up to the battery first. So let's pick a battery. This battery is at 12.24 volts, so that means it could take a charge and pull a load. So that's good. We'll use that one. These are really going to come in handy later on whenever I try to hook all these batteries together with like a really nice heavy-duty connection. Nice. 
didn't blow up. 24 volts. 25, okay. So yeah, tw well, the 12 volts. Okay. Oh shit, there's so many menus on here. Charging at point six of an amp. That's interesting. I'm getting pretty tired of these connectors. They're pretty... It, I haven't been able to find ones like it because there's always something different. It's either a little clip or it's slightly smaller or whatever. If they're going to have the same, like, number, they might as well have, or, like, the same name for them. They might as well have the same specification. But they don't. MC4 connectors are some of the most annoying things I've ever had to use. At least the, mo the most annoying connectors. I'd much rather just use solder and duct tape or heat shrink. I'm thinking whoever designs these makes them brand specific. That might be some of the issue. Like for instance, whatever company made these panels want them to only work with the controllers that they buy or something. And that, that's pretty retarded. Because then it's not an MC4 connector, it's your own homemade connector. And we now went over 0.9 of an amp, so that did help a lot. Switching over to the other clean panel brings the power up to uh, not much more, actually. I have both the negatives connected together, so I don't have to switch the positive. That way it'll make it quicker. It'd be nice to have a switch, but I, I don't feel like finding one right now. So it's pulling 0.4 of an amp on the clean panel. Let's switch it over quickly. And then it'll be pulling 0.37 of an amp. 0.36? Okay. So that's only like 10%, right? Yeah, 10%. If it works that way. So that's taking off about 10% of the power. Which is a pretty good amount of power. But it's not, it's not everything, you know what I mean? So it's currently at... 0.39 of an amp on the dirty panel. I'll switch it over to the clean panel. And it is giving... 0.39. Hmm, weird. The sun's pretty much behind clouds right now, so it might be an, an issue with... or a difference between, like, diffuse lighting and direct light, lighting, if that's the right term. So basically, if it's coming from all different angles and bouncing off stuff, maybe it goes through the dirt easier. But if it's direct, like, directly from the sun, maybe the dirt could be giving more of an issue. I mean, this is just speculation, but I would assume there might be, there could be a difference, I don't know. I'm not meaning this to be like a very accurate test, because, of course, I'm not measuring how dirty the panel is, besides showing pictures of it. And it's just kind of like, oh, kind of curious, you know what I mean? Now look at that, 1.32 amps, while it's pulling 1.0 amps. So yeah, maybe this is MPPT. That's pretty cool. So the clouds are mostly fucked off, and there's kind of shade there, but there's light here. So, I'm going to move my stuff here. That makes sense. Well, there's something in the way of my panels over here, but that's different. So, even though we have random weather that's giving us not very usable results, it still gives me one usable conclusion. That a solar panel that dirty doesn't have nearly as big of an effect as I feared it would. I was thinking that would cut, cut the power down by like 50% or something, because it would just like reflect all the light. But it actually seems to be where just having shade on the panel is a much bigger issue. So yeah, that's the new controller and stuff like that. I want to get back into this, but I want to I want to take care of the yard and all that kind of stuff and make room for it. I might turn the brick shed into the, the battery shed. I'm not sure though. It looks like the storm's coming in, and I really just don't have much else I can really do right now. I'm probably just going to let this charge that battery for a little bit longer and then put this stuff up. Well, actually, I'll let the battery stay out here to let the rain wash them off because they have a lot of junk on them. And I'll do the same with the solar panels, but I'll move the MPPT controller inside. But yeah, I don't, I'm not really able to do much right now. I think, well, I, I am able, but 
I think it'd be best for me to work on other stuff first. But I really wanted to make a, a Solar Sunday video because I felt I felt like doing it, you know? Even though I didn't really have too much to talk about, I felt like making a Solar Sunday video. So, I would love to hear you guys' opinions of anything you think I should do. Like, I'm thinking I have an old 25 0-25-volt DC voltmeter. I'm going to put it in my bedroom and have the solar panels directly wired to that so I can see how the solar panels themselves are doing, uh, how, how much voltages they're creating regardless of how much power is actually going into the batteries. So that'd be kind of cool. And so yeah, if you have any ideas, that'd be good to hear. And I hope you guys have a very happy Solar Sunday. See ya!